When the weather is impactful, this is the place to be. It's weather for weather geeks on this Wednesday evening. Uh, we've got snow inbound as of the recording of this video, and some big changes will take place over the next several hours. We've been above freezing, in fact, well above freezing for much of the day today with raindrops for a lot of the day. We uh, saw temperatures kind of bobbing around in the upper 30s and lower 40s. At the airport at 7 o'clock, it was still 36, but not for much longer because, as I said, as of the recording of this video, some Big changes are afoot. Our network of personal weather stations, these are Weatherflow Tempest weather stations across our area, showing mid-30s in Columbiana County as of 712. Looking off to the north, though, we're still hanging on to the mid-30s for maybe a few more minutes in some of these uh, locations. So this is Warren right down in here. And uh, just to the north of Warren, some of these personal weather stations are still reading 37 degrees. But over into Portage County, Geauga County, uh, we're already pretty close to freezing. And uh, that is the ghost of Christmas future in much of our viewing area. Before I hit record, I captured a, an image from an ODOT camera. This is uh, I-271 just south and east of Cleveland, where it's been snowing for a while now. As you can see, the snow has really started to accumulate. Now, uh, with the warmer temperatures today, uh, <clears throat> this evening when the snow begins, it's not going to instantly stick on a lot of paved surfaces, especially if they've been treated. Um, but it won't take long before those temperatures fall low enough that road treatment won't be all that effective. And the snow will have no trouble accumulating on just about everything. Quick live look outside with our camera here in Niles. This is across from Eastwood Mall. 37 degrees and just wet conditions, of course. But uh, this camera will look a lot different, I think, in a few hours. And certainly when I go on the air tonight on 21 News at 11 clock compared to 24 hours ago yeah it's a big change of course it's seven degrees cooler here locally but the number is 21 in columbus it's 21 in detroit and almost 30 degrees colder than the same hour last evening out towards western michigan around the grand rapids area this is a true arctic air mass which is uh, pushing in now the uh Arrival of the Arctic air has been a little bit slower today than some of the modeling showed a day or certainly two days ago. We thought this changeover to snow a couple of days ago might occur today mid-afternoon, but it's holding off until after sunset. That is some good news certainly for anyone who has had to be out on the roads over the last few hours. It's just been wet. But uh, uh, it'll be delayed but not denied, that is for sure. The colder air is going to win the battle, and that changeover to snow is going to occur over the next hour from north to south and west to east across our viewing area. And so uh, with the anticipation of perhaps a more significant snow event for much of the region, the uh, local National Weather Service offices did hoist and upgrade some alerts today. Uh, they added Mahoning, Trumbull, and Mercer to the winter weather advisory tier. It's a lake effect snow warning though. Uh, Summit County, Portage County, Geauga County, all the adjacent counties just to our north and to our west. Winter storm warnings are up for western New York. This system has not only slowed down, it's become a little more intense or uh, a little deeper, if you will. Over the last uh, day or so, the modeling did not really pick up on this. A lot of the modeling, anyway, did not pick up on this until we got into the last 24 hours. I started to see signs of this, certainly, yesterday. But it became pretty obvious today that this is going to be a bigger deal in terms of the snow than it looked like it would be a couple of days ago. Now, this is not going to be valid for every location in our viewing area, but here's a sampling of the rolling snow accumulations. Maybe for kind of the heart of our viewing area, think of the, the greater Youngstown area, maybe down to 224, certainly up towards the I-80 corridor, up to Warren, over to Sharon, kind of the middle of our viewing area. This may be pretty representative of what to expect in terms of the rolling snow accumulation. So the accumulations start mid-evening, as many head out the door tomorrow morning, there probably will be one to three inches on the ground in a lot of places, and we'll probably uh, continue to add to those totals, especially around midday, early afternoon. There probably will be an uptick in snow shower activity right around lunchtime on Thursday. But again, this is not valid for every location across our viewing area. I think amounts will be a little bit lower the farther south you are, but yeah, you know, this will be enough to shovel and plow and cause some disruptions just about everywhere. That is for sure. It's you know, it's kind of interesting. Our computer model spread is actually increased as we've gotten closer to the arrival of this snow. A lot of times we like to see these lines closer together as we get closer to the start of a, uh, a snowy period, but the lines have actually gotten farther apart as the modeling has kind of spread a little bit here in terms of what it what we expect to, to happen. I do think that the higher total, the trend of the higher totals is the right trend. So even though you see the NAM, that's this line down here showing less than two, a lot of our uh, modeling shows at least three or four, and you know the the afternoon run of the European model even has well over six inches in the heart of our viewing area. 
Um, so, you know, the the top end or the ceiling of this event has certainly increased over the last couple of days. So what I did with the snow map here regionally, we'll start regionally and then zoom in locally. I think it's going to be pretty common to see six inches plus from around the greater Cleveland area, right across I-90 over towards Ashtabula County, Erie, Pennsylvania, southwest New York. And the maximum in that zone, you know, there could be some double digit amounts, certainly from eastern Cuyahoga County, northern Geauga County, parts of Ashtabula County, and perhaps into uh, Crawford and Erie counties in Pennsylvania. Some double digit amounts will be possible. Now, in our true television viewing area, I think it'll be pretty common to see four, five, six inches or so in a lot of areas around and north of Interstate 80. In fact, as I continue to watch the high resolution modeling coming in, we may extend this four to six area down a little bit farther, maybe down to about Youngstown, maybe down to about Austintown. That's gonna be possible. I'm not gonna pull the trigger on that just yet early this evening, but before the evening is through, um, it is possible that we'll add a little more real estate to those higher totals. But I think a good chunk of Trumbull and Mercer have a pretty good chance of seeing four five or six inches or so. I think a lot of our viewing area is going to pick up two and a half, three, three and a half, four inches or so worth of snow. Not all tonight, but between now, as of the recording of this video, and about mid to late afternoon on Thursday. The farther south you are, the lower the totals are likely to be. But still, even an inch or two in a place like Hanoverton, New Garden, down to Selineville, across towards Highland Town and Calcutta and East Liverpool, um, even if you only get an inch and a half or maybe two inches down there, it'll still be impactful. There can be some uh, impacts on the main roads, the residential roads, and again, road treatment will not be super effective later on tonight into Thursday with this cold as it's going to be. Now, the, the most consistent snow, the steadiest snow, is likely to come this evening. After the changeover to snow, it'll snow pretty steadily in most of the area for a lot of the evening. I think as we head deeper into the overnight and certainly into the daylight hours on Thursday, this snow will become a little more hit or miss or intermittent. There'll be times in which it's not snowing. Um, but there will be times in which it's snowing pretty good. The, the lion's share of the bands during Thursday may be aimed mostly at northwestern Pennsylvania, southwestern New York, where those uh, lake effect snow warnings are in effect and winter, we uh, winter storm warnings are in effect. But still, any band that does come into our viewing area in far eastern Ohio and western Pennsylvania could certainly pack a, uh, a punch, especially right around midday. Snow then tapers off. We get uh, in-between systems for a while late Thursday into Thursday night, but around midday and afternoon, especially on Friday, I think there can be some snow showers around. This doesn't look like much to me, but I could see where there's an inch or less worth of snow, maybe just enough to cause some slick spots once again before the day is through on Friday. A uh, little bit of light snow and flurry is a possibility for Friday night, Saturday morning. There may be a band of steadier snow that tries to emerge somewhere uh, from the southeastern part of Ohio into the panhandle of West Virginia, southwestern Pennsylvania, late Friday night into Saturday. It's debatable at this point whether that if, if a steady band of snow uh, does materialize, it remains to be seen if that would impact most of our viewing area, maybe just to our south and east, but it's going to be a close call perhaps. Either way, at least a scattering of snow showers will be a possibility overnight Friday night into at least the first half of the day on Saturday. This is another Arctic cold front heading our way Saturday, and the air mass behind this front will certainly pack a punch as we go into Saturday night, Sunday, and early next week. So. It's an unsettled forecast. Uh, the biggest accumulations, the highest totals, of course, will be tonight into Thursday. But that Friday system, an inch or less, um, some light amounts of snow will be a possibility again Friday night into parts of Saturday. And while Sunday looks pretty quiet, just very cold, um, I think on Monday for Martin Luther King Jr. Day, um, there could be some light amounts of snow with snow showers pushing through. I don't foresee any sort of major winter storm or weather system heading our way as we head into next week. Uh, the the Storm track will be pretty suppressed with as cold as this air mass is going to be. This will be the coldest air mass of the season so far, coming our way for a few days early next week. So uh, the 20th, that is, uh, that's next Tuesday. We have a high of 13 in the forecast at the climatologically absolute coldest time of the year, which is mid-January. So that's 21 degrees below the already very cold seasonal averages. Now beyond, say, Tuesday, um, temperatures will try to recover some. Now it's not going to be a warm pattern for sure, but it won't be as harsh. And we might even might even crack freezing a few times um, during that so window, say from the 22nd or 23rd through about the, maybe the 26th. I think the last few days of January though, we could see another cold air mass coming in that probably tries to stick around into the first couple of days of February. All right, so we got you covered, of course, on air and online with the snow pushing in over the next several hours and overnight. Make sure you're following me wherever you uh, like to Get your weather information on social media. I'm on most of the major outlets. Uh, some small, short videos on 
uh, TikTok. Make sure you're following me there. If you're watching me on YouTube, this is where I post some shorter form videos as well, but also Weather for Weather Geeks lives on my YouTube channel. You can watch Weather for Weather Geeks videos that date back years and years if you want. Been doing these videos for a long time. Thanks for your patience again on this long video on this Wednesday evening. Stay safe out there tonight and Thursday. And I'll see you Thursday evening for a recap of the snow and a preview of what's to come over the weekend.